Australia is set to become one of the world's largest arms exporters under a controversial plan of the Turnbull government. S. The Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull, has unveiled a new defence export strategy setting out the policy and strategy to make Australia one of the world's top 10 weapons exporters within the next decade. Hailing it a job creating plan for local manufacturers, the coalition says Australia only sells around $1.5 billion dollars to 2.5 billion dollars in defense exports a year and it wants the value of those exports to increase significantly. It has identified a number of priority markets the Middle East, the Indo-Pacific region, Europe, the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, and New Zealand. It will set up a new defense export office to work hand in hand with us trade and a center for defense industry capability to coordinate the Commonwealth's whole of government export efforts and provide a focal point for more arms exports. A $3.8 billion defense export facility, to be administered by the Export Finance and Insurance Corporation EFIC, will provide the finance local companies need to help them sell their defense equipment overseas. A new Australian defense export advocate position, set up to support the Australian Defense Export Office, will provide industry with the constant high-level advocacy needed to promote Australian-made weapons overseas. It is an ambitious, positive plan to boost Australian industry, increase investment, and create more jobs for Australian businesses, Turnbull said in a statement. A strong, exporting defence industry in Australia will provide greater certainty of investment, support high-end manufacturing jobs and support the capability of the Australian Defence Force. The controversial plan has been anticipated since mid-2017 when Christopher Pine, the Defence Industry Minister, said he wanted to start selling far more Australian-made weapons overseas. Tim Costello, the World Vision Australia chief advocate, attacked the plan for exporting death, saying the government had cut humanitarian aid which saved lives while simultaneously discussing the merits of becoming a major weapons manufacturer and exporter. The government says this is an export and investment opportunity, but we would be exporting death and profiting from bloodshed, Costello said. There is only one purpose in making a weapon and that is to kill someone with it. Do we really want that to be what people think of when they see the brand made in Australia? Apostrophe question mark Costello said the contemporary Syrian war, now in its eighth year, could not have lasted for more than a year without armaments profiteering. As a result, there had been more than 300,000 people killed, including thousands of children. 13.5 million people in need of humanitarian assistance, 6.3 million people internally displaced and 5 million people turned into refugees. Defence Industry Minister Christopher Pine says he wants Australia to become a major arms exporter on par with Britain, France, and Germany, and use exports to cement relationships with countries in volatile regions such as the Middle East. Is it really a good idea to sell weapons in a volatile region? He said. A government fact sheet says the strategy sets a new direction for Australian defence exports. The government will set aside $20 million a year to implement the strategy, including $6.35 million to implement strategic multi year export campaigns, an additional $3.2 million to expand the global supply chain programme, and an additional $4.1 million for grants to help build the capability of small and medium enterprises to compete internationally. This strategy is about job creation, Turnbull said in a joint statement with Pine, the Minister for Defence Marais Payne, and the Minister for Trade Stephen C. Iobo. It will give Australian defence companies the support they need to grow, invest and deliver defence capability. It will make Australia